Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving inequalities. This is the second video on the topic, so if you've not seen the first one yet, we went through the basics in that video. Uh, here we're going to look at some more complicated examples. So in this first type of question, we're looking at solving inequalities that have two signs. So here we have to solve the inequality 5 is less than 2x minus 3, which is less than 13. So uh, we again treat this as an equation or an expression where uh, we can think of these inequality symbols as equal signs. Uh, but this time, whatever we do uh, to one part of the expression, we must do to all three parts of the expression. So uh, to solve this inequality, we want to get x on its own. And the first thing we want to do is add 3 so that we'll just be left with 2x in the middle here. So when we add 3, we have to add 3 uh, to the left-hand side of this inequality here and to the right-hand side of this inequality here. So we're going to get 8 here is uh, less than 2x, which is less than 16. So we've added 3 uh, to all parts of this expression here. And now we want to divide uh, all parts of it by 2 just to get x on its own. So we're going to get 4 is less than x, which is less than 8. So in other words, x is between 4 and 8, and these are strict inequalities, so it does not include the values of 4 and 8. So for the most part, when you're solving inequalities, you treat them in much the same way as you would an equation, and you just solve them as though it was an equation uh, where the inequality symbol is the equal sign. There is an exception to this rule, though, and that's when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So here we've got the inequality minus 2x is greater than 4. So if I want to get x as the subject, the first thing I'll probably do is divide by 2. So I'm going to get minus x is greater than uh, 2. So this is going to be on a number line represented like so. So we've got, uh, let's just draw five points on the number line. So 0 is going to be here and 2 is going to be here. Uh, so what this means is that values beyond 2 are all the minus x values. So there's another way we could draw this as a number line, uh, and we could have the same number line here. Uh, so we could have minus 2 here, and all the positive x values extending away from minus 2 towards the left. So how we would write this is x is less than minus 2. Uh, so as you can see, in order to get from this first expression here to this second expression here, uh, we've divided by minus 1, but when we've done so, uh, the sign of the inequality has changed. So here we had minus x is uh, greater than 2, and now we've got x is less than or equal to minus 2. So whenever you multiply and divide by a negative number, uh, the inequality symbol changes sign. Like most things in algebra, the best way to get good at this topic is just by practicing, so you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, and all of them you'll receive instant feedback on. It's a good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong, and it's a good way to improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight over there.